You give me the latest trends and what do you expect over the next two to three years from EPA? So with EPA regulations, there's a new set coming out in 2027 where the warranty is being extended from about 300,000 miles to upwards of 600,000 miles. So the burden of the emission system needing to be compliant is shifting from the owner operator on the second half of the expected life cycle to the full life cycle being covered plus some on the OE. So we're naturally going to see truck prices go up as OEs try to figure out how to cover that uh, liability because these trucks are now under warranty past the first expected uh, DPF service or other mission system component service interval. So naturally the OE will just pass on that cost to the owner through a price increase. One of the misnomers of the mission system is when a DPF becomes full, it's the DPF's fault. The DPF is essentially a trash can. When you go to a concert and you see a random trash can that's completely full of trash, is it the trash can's fault? Or is it the concert venue's fault for not putting enough trash cans in? So the DPF will naturally fill up over time and it needs to be served. So when you have a service interval, you want to make sure it's less than when the trash can is completely full and you have people walking by throwing stuff on the ground. So establishing a service interval is critical to keeping filters in your supply chain, keeping your total cost of ownership low by using a rest restored DPF versus always replacing it with a new once you reach a catastrophic failure.